Okay, what we're going to talk about in this video is the extension of my differential breathers, both front and back, for my Nissan XRL T30. So we are at the front, and I'll show you from the top, um, that's the hose that I've put in. And I'll show you, obviously, what it looks like underneath and where to find the breather. But uh, I'll show you here now that um, if you look at your, air, your the original air box, for some reason there's a slit in here that uh, fits this hose, the size of hose, perfectly. So I used that, clipped the hose in there to secure it, and then just routed it all the way up here. And at the end, you can get yourself a uh, inline fuel filter from Super Cheap or your local auto store just to um, put some protection at the end of the hose and let it breathe obviously so let's go underneath okay maybe it wasn't a good idea to go underneath because now that I've installed my bash plate I can't get to it from underneath but trust me if you don't have a bash plate you can easily get to it from underneath so I'll show you I'll do my best to show you where it is that's your air box, top of the transmission, starter motor, behind on the other side, starter motor, there's the rubber hose, as you can see, see it angles up, and just where that is on top of the transmission is where you want to go so again I've done it in the past without the bash plate you can get to it from underneath the vehicle you have to remember that it's a transaxle it's a front-wheel drive car with a shaft going to the rear to make it all-wheel drive so there's only one breather in the front that's that's your front breather transaxle transaxle breather so onto the back of the vehicle it's way easier to access and find the differential breather. So that's the that's your differential. CV. And if I can get it to focus, just above there is your diff, diff breather. Remove the original hose and take it with you to Super Cheap or your local auto pad store to get the right size and get yourself um, a couple of meters or a few meters including you know the front same size so with mine I put two hose clips as you can see zip tied it to my rear suspension assembly or cross member whatever you call it tidy all the way to the back and I've just zip tied it to my exhaust bracket on the rubber not the um, hot surface of it on to the back zip tied to the rear exhaust bracket tucked away underneath behind the um, rear bumper Another zip tie to secure it on the corner, which then goes on top of my tow bar. It's a original Nissan tow bar I picked up from the records a while ago. In between the rear bumper and the tow bar, another zip tie to secure it. Going back onto tow bar and there's a rubber grommet in the middle there's a rubber grommet in the middle where your spare tire is being ho um, housed in the vehicle so I just slid a bigger hole on that grommet put the hose through that one it goes up in here inside your spare tire um, compartment and so I just 
laid it underneath there and again put in a um, one of those inline filters on the tip of the hose just to you know just to um, filter any dirt or anything like that I'll be doing more videos showing modifications I've done on the Nissan X-Trail so don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel